Oh, well, well, Freedom will not give me a free phone. Well, put a message on YouTube for YouTube subscribers. See if one of them will come up with a free phone. Somewhere, somehow, somebody will have free phones around. Maybe, well, I got a review on one half to even matter of fact, we'll glad we do a review for you on it and see what you think of it. Anyway, so I don't know how you gonna ever think about it, but that's what I this video is about here. But also about time tra is time travel possible? Is it feasible? The answer is mm, yes. And the other answer is no. Because what happened to go backwards in time? Let's suppose I went backwards in time to Battle of Stony Creek, 1812. And I and I told the U.S. cavalry that they're going to be slaughtered in the battle. Won't win this battle, be slaughtered. And what do you think going to happen? Hmm. Well, you U.S. cavalry going to turn around and act to the facility, and they win the war. Where would I, where would I be today? I'd be say upstate New York. Huh. Think about it. Huh. You got that right. That is true. Because they're afraid of saying history that the British lost the battle and they're afraid to say. Now, let's suppose I went to 1920s and I pulled out an XA1 phone out and I said, Here, look at this. This makes phone calls. This is video. What happened? They're afraid to say history because instead of having a normal course of history, all of a sudden, all cell phones explode on the marketplace. Way before the time, and the world and the coming day, everything would be so different. I would not know how it would even survive. Could actually cause a total nuclear annihilation or anything. Okay, all because somebody go back to saying history. If you were to look at this, if you were to say in history, in any way, say, perform, trying travel is not uh, feasible. No matter how you look at it, it's really not a thing you want to fool around with. Let's suppose try and travel into a future. And I went there, and I traveled there in the future, Earth future, for example, and I seen modern day device. I took one back here. They haven't been invented yet. What would it do? What? It would probably work, but let's suppose this is really bad. I turned around. The rule, I just seen history there, see? Or history scene. But time strips are out there and they're very, very, very real. I was in a flea market down on, oh, not a flea market, antique store on Ottawa Street. And I walk into one of the vendors' booths looking at a few antiques. I looked, I thought weird. I looked around. See all these ladies dressed in old aunt golf, the old clothing from the early, mid 1800s, about 1830s. Uh, type of outfits and that were an office an old desk office and it was all written lit with coal oil lamps and electricity I'm there I realized this soon I realized it I will and, and my friend with me realized the same thing at the same time so I quickly realized it and I didn't do anything I had to quickly tried to run back the way I came because I realized it remained in that time I could have seen history but I don't want to do that. I could erase my own self from existence. My girl with her self existence for example. So that was not a funny thing to think about because that is dangerous. Time slips can also stay here, but also allow you to see a glimpse of the past. It only lasted a few minutes, but in a few, that few minutes, you could, I could say history. I choose not to. Why? Because I would not know the out outcome would be different. Anyway, so, you know, that was what I realized, you know, right at that point. Because I had to do some research into a building I was in Ottawa Street to find out. I did some research. The building was built in 1934. FW, at F.W. Rover store, remained so up to about 
up to 1980. 1980, they closed night, late, late, up 19, up to early 2000. Early 2000, they closed the door for good. Became an antique store after that. Before Rollers, it was a um, it was a buggy sale salesman. For that, it was an old buggy house where they were sold horses and buggy, and buggy whips, and everything else. Of a buggy dealer, basically, horse and buggy dealer, going back to eight, that time frame, 1830s, you know, 1835, mid mid 1800s. That's a horse and buggy dealer, and it closed its door for good by uh, not in the early 20s, the Woolworths, and then the building was abandoned from the 1920s. Then in about 1930s, it was rebuilt, it was built as a Woolworths store, over a Woolworths in 1930, so that's what I mean by it. then that day an antique store. But what I saw in the time flip was the business office of the carriage bag. Also realized there was a dramatic moment in time there where there was a person who had a major was 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 dis comfort dissatisfied with the bill, and they walked up to accountant and and, and this one and killed the accountant with, with a gun. Only gun account, maybe it's better, and killed the accountant with a gun. And that what happened there. So I, um, you know what? I wasn't too happy. That was something I did find out. Just so happened. I read the little report that was out. They seen two strange people. They seen a man holding a strange device in his hand. You know, and the lady standing there with a man, lady, two ladies, or one with really nice hairdo, one with a black post. You know, the, both described, one described me to a T, the other one described you. They're there for a few minutes and disappeared. They re and they said, well, I can't do, you know, I do, don't do anything, don't do anything, and turned and disappeared. You know, and I realized that I was there in that time. My God, I couldn't believe it. You know, not long enough to do anything. I realized if I did something, then I could have saved history. But I don't. I and I could have raised my own self, and I was more concerned about that than anything else. Realized I couldn't. I not supposed to be there. and Made a point back. So what's there? What the time slip was even proven by two office workers in, in 1830. They both see me and my girlfriend in 1830, dressed the way I am today like this and they couldn't believe it anyway so I'm gonna say this time slip yes be aware it could happen to you someplace when you least suspect it happened happened to me it happened to me a couple of times but I never ever will change history or do anything because if I did something there'd be consequences I have to pay to, and to, uh, today anyways blog over